All right, guys, uh, another review here in Nanaimo. Um, I'm gonna say a couple things really quickly. So this is Little George's Pizza, as you can see, a little bit better lighting over here. This is right next to my hotel. Like literally, my hotel is a stone's throw. Um, there's a cannabis store right next door. Um, okay, so Little George's Pizza, I've already done a review of this in Nanaimo, but uh, I thought this was affiliated with Little George's Restaurant, which I already did. Um, so this one is not, they're not affiliated. Apparently, I, I heard from some uh, people that live in Nanaimo that uh, Little George's Restaurant, which I've already done like 2021 or 2020, um, started this location and then sold it off pretty quickly. So I had to do it because it's next to my hotel and it's different. Uh, it's got really good ratings online. I got their four cheese pizza, which is called uh, the Big Cheesy Guy. It was like 30 bucks after tax, so a little expensive, but it looks good. Uh, it's cheddar, mozzarella, parmesan, and feta. A lot of people don't like feta on cheese pizzas, but it's a pretty common thing in uh, British Columbia, Canada. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, people may have seen that I went to Carbone. So Carbone's an interesting one because I've been seeing it uh, almost opening since like 2020. And I've been really wanting to go review it. Um, so I'm in Nanaimo right now, obviously. And uh, I talked to the owner on the phone, super nice guy. And I was supposed to go and review it last night, but they still weren't open yet for dine-in. And when I'm getting off work, because I'm up here for work, it's dark outside and I'm, I'm not huge on these reviews where I have a tripod and have to shoot it in the dark, etc., etc. And I feel like Carbone is gonna be potentially the best pizza in Nanaimo. So I didn't wanna make a silly video. Uh, I'd rather come back uh, on my own time, bring a camera person, because when I talk to him, uh, wait till I do the review, guys. It's gonna be really nice. Uh, he's got the bar pie there. I'm gonna do a margarita. He makes a chicken parm. Uh, they've got pastas. So, although I do have the opportunity to go and sit in the restaurant and do the review at the table, I'm by myself and I don't think there's a, a lot of people going uh, in there right now because they're kind of have the lounge closed. So I just wanna do an outside one. Okay, enough explaining of that. Um, also, I have to say this really quickly. Because I'm in Nanaimo and I'm staying in a hotel, my hotel room doesn't have a uh, kitchen. So I'm eating out every day. I went to Brown Social House to grab their, I think it's like a crispy chicken burger on their menu. Absolutely terrible. Like, why does Brown Social House even exist? Um, I know that like the waitresses are hot or whatever, but like I picked that because I thought it looked like the best thing on their menu and something you can't really screw up. I grabbed it for lunch. I took like one bite and threw it in the garbage. So Brown Social House sucks. Okay, review time on this guy. I'm gonna try and show it to you. I got the tripod on top of my car right now, so a little bit awkward. Okay. Um, if you can't see it very well, which you can't, I'll have a picture for it for you guys on the screen. Okay, so um, the big cheesy guy. It's got a taco grip here. They did make it very quickly. Little taco grip there. That's, not, that's holding up pretty good for four cheese and it's super fresh too. So I feel like if it sat for a little bit longer, it might be a little bit more rigid. Crust feels nice though. It's got a little crisp to it. Doing a crust bite on this might be a little bit hard. So if I disappear during the crust bite, just know that I'm right here. <laughs> Taste test. Hope you can hear me. Oh, undercarriage. That's actually pretty damn good. Um, and I can't for the life of me remember what I scored uh, Little George's restaurant because it was like two and a half years ago. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was in the mid sevens. This is nice though. They got the parchment paper under the pizza, bonus there. Also, you can see they do pasta as well. And when I was in there, I heard that they were like cooking, uh, making some uh, spaghetti and things like that as well. They have a local delivery system, which is through them. So it's not like Uber. It's called like local delivery guys, but it's done in house. Um, okay. And the sauce tastes nice too. It's not like super sweet. Um, it's being a little bit overshadowed by the amount of cheese, but it's a nice tasting sauce. And the, the, the crust, 
This is gonna sound bad, but people will be able to understand what I'm saying. Because it's so big, such a big chain. The crust is similar to Pizza Hut. Way better than Pizza Hut, but in the way that it's kind of crispy on the outside, but still nice and kind of uh, soft in the middle. People who eat Pizza Hut will know what I mean. Not gonna lie, guys. I didn't think it was gonna be this good. It's, it's pretty damn good. Okay. Crust bite. The mic's on the other side of my camera, so you may not have heard that, but I hope you did. But it does have a good crisp to it for sure. Like you can see, it's got a nice crust. Um, honestly, I would put this in the same kind of category as like Hot House. Um, okay, rating time. Like I said, I can't remember what I rated Little George's restaurant, but pretty sure it was like a 7, 6 or something like that. Um, and I liked Little George's restaurant. I kind of wish I watched it before because I want to gauge it against this, but as people know too, I've said, when you go to a place like a year later, it might taste completely different because there might be a new chef, da 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 da. Also, Mambo Pizza is not making their Detroit style anymore because people in Nanaimo don't know about Detroit styles and then they just stop doing it. Um, and then La Stella Trattoria has a second location now, which is uh, La Stella Pizzeria, right by Milano's. All right, so that's your rundown for Nanaimo. And then I've got, after Car this one in Carbone, I've got one last pizza place in Nanaimo called uh, Red Swan. And then I'm moving up island because I know people want me to get to Comox and do boonies and things like that. Rating time on this. Hey, good jacks, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Don't hear that very often. Um, you know what? I'm going to give this a... Uh, 8.3 out of 10 it's it's really good pizza uh, i i enjoy it i'm definitely gonna go sometimes i'm not gonna lie to you guys when i when i do a review and you see me do like a 7.4 i generally just give the pizza away like those kinds of pizzas i it's hard for me to eat the rest of it because i don't ever waste it but it's hard for me to eat the rest of it because i'm so used to good pizza i will go back to my hotel room and eat the rest of this pizza just so people know um okay so i guess that's gonna be it for uh little george's 2.0 even though it's a different location so it's not going to be a 2.0 little george's pizza and pasta in comparison to little george's restaurant this pizza might be a little bit better um okay guys uh more reviews coming soon on to the next one hey everyone thanks for watching my review of little george's pizza and pasta please subscribe on youtube and hit that like button if you can cheers